Hopefully you've already downloaded the iAquaLink app. If you have not, go ahead and go to the App Store and search for iAquaLink. You're looking for a little I, lowercase i, with radio signals coming off the top of it. Download the app and go through the sign-up procedure. Now that that's done, open your phone and go to Settings. And under Settings, you're going to go to Wi-Fi and look under your networks my networks we're looking for one called iAquaLink select that and what this is going to do is going to allow you to connect the antenna to your your local wireless provider so we're going to select the wi-fi network and you're going to click the one that you use and enter the password there once you enter the password it will say you may close this window and it will take you out of there Okay, now that we've got the antenna connected, we need to connect your phone back to the Wi-Fi. So we'll turn the Wi-Fi off and back on, and then look under your networks and select your local Wi-Fi. Connect that, and you may have to enter the password. It may already know you, but reconnect to your local Wi-Fi, and then we're ready for the next step. Okay, guys, final step. Go to your phone and find the iAquaLink app you just downloaded and open it up. Uh, it'll say my systems at the top along with the little plus sign now don't worry about the rest of this mine has yours doesn't have that yet but just hit the plus at the top and it will say add system now you're going to select the top one that says i aqualink rs now you're going to get the screen that says device number the device number is on the side of your antenna it is like a 12 digit code and then it's asking you for a name. This is whatever you want to call it, my pool, John's pool, whatever. Once you enter that, you're going to get this screen. Now, yours is only going to have one, your name and one green dot. It's not going to have all these other names. These are just the pools that we have using this system. But you'll see your name with one green dot. Select that, and it's going to pull up your pool. Uh, you can double check it by hitting filter pump, and it should turn your pump on. If you have a spa, you can turn the spa on and it'll begin to turn the valve actuators. So this is how you use it. Now one more thing down in the bottom right hand corner you see equipment. Select that and you'll see the additional equipment that you've got for your pool. Yours may not be set up yet. It may say aux 1, aux 2, aux 3, aux 4. But you can go through the setup procedure and add those names as well. Now one more cool feature. The top right hand corner you'll see web. Press that button and it should go sideways and you'll get this blue screen now this is where you do all your programming right in the bottom left you see one called menu you select that and you'll get this schedule then you can enter your schedules we've already got one added here but yours probably won't have one this is where you'll set that up you can also do system setup which is where you'll label your auxiliary press system setup again and VSP this is if you have a variable speed pump you can set that up here come back out you can also set up your color lights have many options to choose from come back out you can you can look at all the options you can set up a heat pump you can turn everything all and off at one time you can set up dimmers in floor cleaners you can set up uh, so many different things spa remotes you can set your salt system if you have one this one doesn't uh, you'll hit the set temp button that would set your range on your pool heater spa heater it's the same heater but two different temperatures but basically that's it uh, lots of features you can do with this this is absolutely the easiest system to set up i love it we try to put it on every pool we can and uh, really makes using the pool nice guys thanks for watching hope you have a great summer and hit that like and subscribe button and hopefully we'll right, guys, see you in the next one